Hello, bakers. Welcome back to Bakery Shop Simulator. How are we doing on stuff? Just loading into the game. Looks like I stockpiled some stuff over here, like I said I was going to start doing. Yeah, I stayed a little bit later at the end of the last episode and made, made my baker go ahead and bake some stuff. Um, yeah, as you can see, we're starting to get some double piles up of everywhere. Uh, sausage bread. Do I have sausage bread over here? I, I'm pretty sure I got everything set over here ready to go uh, for the most part. Um, but we're not going to let my baker sit around and do nothing. I'm going to go ahead, ahead and have him making some baguettes to start the day. And our first order is up. Uh, oatmeal cookie. Pasky oatmeal cookie. Nope. Uh, wrong buttons again. Uh, everything changes from game to game, you know. And you hit buttons in one game and the next game it's not. Italian loaf bread. We should have that right there. And of course it... Wrap the packages that way, so I'm going to go ahead and put them on the counter. And scan, scan, scan. Right, let's go ahead and put this over here for now. Um, yeah, go ahead and make some some of these peskies. So I can double stack them over here, hopefully. If not, it's no big deal. Uh, do I got gray bread over here? I do got gray bread. I'm going to try to keep my chef, uh, my, my baker, I shouldn't call him a chef, you might get offended by that. I'm going to keep my baker kind of busy. Um, I'm hoping I bought enough ingredients of everything, which I think we should have, to go by the end of the day. By the end of today, are we going to be able to buy the rest of our equipment? If not, we'll buy some equipment and we'll be able to make some other things. Uh, okay, baguette. Yeah, we can do that. Um, oh, good, he's got a new order of paskies up. We'll, we'll double stack those. And we'll take one of those. And what else did you want? Fakata. I don't think it's actually fakata, but that's the way I'm pronouncing it. So, uh, put up with it for the next couple episodes, unless I get double corrected by then. Uh, let's go ahead and can we can we grab that, please? Thank you. And there we go. I don't mind grabbing the packages and put them on the counter. I mean, I got plenty of time to take care of the customers. As for the screen. Yes, I did not mention this uh, as of yet, but um, this is my first episode recording since Trader Life Simulator put the TV screen in the shop, and um, that does work. I would go ahead and show you how it runs, but it's kind of annoying, um, for me anyways, because when you play the real live video that you're watching, it also plays the audio, and it's kind of loud. And basically, um, I'd have to probably play my own video because of copyright reasons, so you would just hear me talking up there, and in the video as well, so that'd be kind of annoying. Uh, pie, French bread, uh, pie, French bread, and what else did he want? Uh, yep, that lovely, ooh. Uh, better go ahead and make some of those. And yeah, get it up here. So like always at the end of the last episode, we ran out of cast. That way we couldn't go ahead and make a whole bunch of things. Uh, where is that? Get a couple of those going there. Um, what am I missing over here? Ah, uh, yes, these things. Let's go ahead and grab these and put these over here. No, I didn't want to... Crap. Can I get that back on there? Well, now it's going to hover. Well, that's going to annoy the heck out of me. All right, let's go ahead and I'll grab that. And we will put that on there like a so. All right. Um, oh, here we go. Another customer. Uh, eclair sausage bread. Eclair sausage bread and chocolate snack. Well, this guy is into the snacks today. Ooh, we'll bring that over here and actually scan it here and let the customer just reach over and grab them. All right, what did I make here? Uh, yes, uh, let's go ahead and put this down here. And I got turned around and we'll grab this and we'll put this like so. Um, what do I need to make here? Um, chocolate snacks. What, what, the, what the heck was there? What the heck was there? Oh, sausage bread was there. All right, sausage bread. All right, let's go ahead and make some more of something. Uh, sausage bread would be good. Like I said, just keep them busy. And that way, by the end of the day, he wanted to make so much. I think I'm just going to stackpile everything here so I can see what I do have instead of having it 
uh, everywhere. Sausage bread fricada. Sausage bread. Dang it. Dang it, Bobby. I keep grabbing the wrong stuff. And French bread. Ah. The correct word is I got to F it. And uh, yeah, I'm starting to starting to realize uh, <laughs> sometimes I like to, I like to say that. Uh, I keep hitting the wrong buttons. All right, grab that and out the door he goes. Uh, what do we have here? These are, should be the correct one, right? Yeah, sausage bread. All right, these are Italian bread. Oh, is that going to fit there? There we go. Um, these I will wait because I only got one of those. All right, let's go ahead and have him make some oatmeal cookies. Yeah, oatmeal cookies would be good. Oatmeal cookies. Where are the oatmeal cookies? Have him bake baking something all day long. By the end of the day, we should be well stocked. Muffin French bread. Muffin French bread. And a sausage bread. Yeah, I don't know why sometimes it wraps it and the box is facing with the labels facing and other times it wraps them and the labels are, the boxes are just entwined in one another. All right, oatmeal cookies. Like that. Uh, make some more muffins. I only got two muffins left. Let's go ahead and make some muffins. I always say, let's go ahead. He's the one making them. Uh, let me grab this wonderful chair of ours. No, I didn't want to. I don't like that sitting in the chair. Can I just put the chair like... No, I don't want to put it there either. Let's put the chair in front of that door. That may work. Uh, I was going to check the our ingredients, but I figured, yep, the customers will come in soon. Muffin biscuit cake. Yeah, there's something you can make. A muffin biscuit cake. And a pasky is what I call it. I would like a little bit more room in this bakery shop, honestly. Uh, okay, let's go ahead and grab these, put these over here. And you know what? How about you make some more biscuit cakes just because I said so? Those are up here somewhere. Yep, there they are. Uh, these are some muffins. I, I want to actually put the muffins over here because I only got one left. I don't want to stack on top of one because I'll think there's plenty down there when there actually isn't. So we'll go ahead and leave it like that. Uh, pastry. I probably should make some pastries as well. Baguette chocolate snack eclair. Baguette. Chocolate snack. Eclair. Yeah, I, I don't. I can't figure out the label thing. Not a big deal. Like I said, I got plenty of time to serve our customers. All right. So what did I make here? Uh, yep. Biscuit, biscuit cakes. Go ahead and put these up here, like so. And uh, muffins. I said I got over here, but I need to make some more eclairs. Uh, eclairs, where are the eclairs? Oh, oh, we don't have ingredients. Well, that's not good. Uh, ingredients. Uh, flour, what do I not have? Oil. All right, we'll stock up on that. Let's buy some vanilla, some chocolate. And just double checking everything quickly here. All right, uh, and we'll exit out. I got a minute. No problem. Let's go back here now and eclair. There we go. Uh, what did you want, sir? A cake, a pie, and a baguette. Well, we can do that. A cake. A pie. And a baguette. Flipping labels. To me, it doesn't matter. I, I don't... I don't I, actually, I would prefer putting it on the counter because this makes it more realistic to me in a way. Because I'm skinning them on the counter, then the customer can take them. That's just me. 
Just the way I like it. Should something go there? I don't know. Uh, eclairs. All right. I know I got just a few on there. That's fine. Uh, let's go ahead and make some pies and cakes. Pies and cakes. Pie first. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. Uh, I feel like something might be missing down there. What could be missing? Maybe not. Maybe nothing's missing. I have no idea. Uh, hello, sir. What do you want? Chocolate snack, gingerbread man baguette. Had to think what button to press there for a second. And chocolate snack, was it? Chocolate snack. Ooh, I better make some more chocolate snacks, I think. Uh, do I have chocolate? Whoops, turning myself everywhere. Nope, chocolate snacks. Definitely got to go ahead and make chocolate snacks. Chocolate snacks. Where are the chocolate snacks? Yep, definitely keeping the baker busy. We have not sold any bread bricks today. That's kind of odd. Those were pretty hot the last couple days. Uh, let's go back in here and we'll check on the ingredient situation here, especially at the top. Um, how are we doing on flour? Sugar, let's go ahead and get some sugar in here. Yeah, I'm buying a whole bunch of ingredients, but I know I'm spending cash, which may not get us to buy some equipment later on today. But raisins, what the heck am I using raisins for? I have no idea. All right, uh, let's get out. I heck out of there. Uh, gray bread eclair cake. Oh no, that's not what I wanted. Gray be bread eclair and cake. Cake. Better make some cake. Ooh, okay, now we'll scan it this way. That way, every order, you guys have no idea which way I'm going to do it. Uh, okay, let's go ahead and put some more chocolate uh, uh, cakes. Yes, cakes. Cake, 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 cake. I don't know, but for some reason, after I get recording an episode of Bakery Shop Simulator, I want some sweets. I don't know why. Yeah, so at the end of the day, what I need to do is, let's well, see, like this right here. I need to take this down, grab that, and try to put it. You know, let me put it there. That, that looks kind of weird. That looks kind of weird. I gotta figure out how to do this here. All right, sausage bread, muffin cake. Sausage bread, muffin, and wow! It, it, all of a sudden, people want cakes. Yeah, yeah, yep. Yeah. And then wrap them that way. That's fine. Let's put it on the counter. I bought all those ingredients. I'm back down to $100 in the bank account. But that's okay. We're getting a stockpile of stuff. Uh, Baker, you know I just had you make some cakes? You want to make some more of those, please? Because I'm out of them again. Almost out of them. Uh, muffins. There we go. Put some... Come on. There we go. That wants a place. And you know what? Let's put these over here. We will buy something at the end of the day. I promise you that much. I'll, I'll, I'll try to save cash so we can buy something. Um, if I buy that one thing, though, is that going to be enough to make something new in the shop? We don't know. All right, Italian loaf bread, meringue pie. So Italian loaf bread. Meringue pie, which is down there. Ooh, I need to make some meringue pies and oatmeal cookies. Or oatmeal cookie. I will say that meringue pie looks awfully small to be a pie. Considered a pie, I think it needs to be bigger. All right, uh, meringue pie. No, not pie. Meringue pie. Uh, cr uh, that, that takes cream, cherry, and butter. Okay. Whatever. Whatever suits your fancy. All right, I only got two of them left. Yeah, we only got two of them left. Uh, pastries I should make some more of. I only got five sausage bread left. Jeez, I used to be worried if I just had, you know, if I was down to one. Now it's like, I only got like five of those left. I only got like three of those left. Uh, muffin pastry 
Piccata. Hopefully I got the order right. And now, well, since all the labels are facing me. Grab that, and we'll put that down there. Let's go ahead and make some more pastries. Like I said, keeping them busy, that's the whole point. Pastries, where the heck are the pastries, man? Pastries, near the bottom. I would like to buy the piece of equipment now, and, but the problem is, as we know, people are gonna come in saying, hey, I want this, I'm like, yeah, I don't have that yet. Cause I didn't know, didn't know I could make that, and um, I don't have time to. Not too bad, though, it's six, uh, six o'clock, yes, six, six o'clock in the afternoon. It's actually four o'clock in the afternoon, so we got a little bit more time. Biscuit cake, gingerbread man. Biscuit cake, gingerbread man. Oop, better make some gingerbread man. And meringue pie, I believe it was. Yep, meringue pie. I should get paid more for faster service. Could that be a thing? I doubt it. Uh, okay, focada. I need focada more than gingerbread men, I think. That dude's probably thinking, can I have like a five minute break? And I'm like, nope. No, sir, you cannot. And when we get done, I want to make sure I have two trays of everything set to go. At least that's what I'm going to try to do. Leave all this entire shelf open. Yeah, I don't know if I should put that stuff over on this shelf to give me more room. Ding dong! Uh, muffin, donut, meringue pie. Muffin. Donut. And a meringue pie. And... Scan, scan, scan. Scan, 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 because a gingerbread man can. Where's a gingerbread man? Way down here. Not gonna let me place that there. There we go. How to get it just right. Yeah, so the problem I'm gonna have is as I stockpile, like when I get the last tray going, I got like two items left. If I put another one on top of that, I could get a stack of three trays on there and I only have like one muffin on piece, and I won't actually have a lot, so I'll have to clear that out at some point. Clean it on out. Like right now, I'm stacking f uh, four gingerbread man on top of two. Uh, what do you want, sir? Italian bread? So you want both Italian and a donut. All right. And a donut for you. Nope, gotta wrap it first. Need my chef to making some Italian bread, looks like. Oh, uh, that's Italian loaf. Yeah, Italian loaf. You wanna get on that, sir? Italian loaf. Too bad it's not voice command. I can just yell back, hey, give me some Italian loaf. Yeah, I wonder why I'm gonna place this back down. I won't actually place... Well, I guess I can place it real low. That'll work. Alright, so how we doing? Oh, I better make some muffins. Getting low on muffins. I guess what I could do when I get, like, low stacks like that is just pick them up, put them over here, and try to take from there if I can. Italian loaf, uh, pastry. Italian loaf. A pastry. Uh, pastries over here. And what was the third thing? Because I didn't read it. Uh, gingerbread man. And scan, scan, scan. It's getting so bad every once in a while. I'm like, what did I just have him make? All right, you're going to make the same thing? Uh, do I dare go in the ingredients? No, stay away from the ingredients for a while. Unless you run out, then we'll double check. Because I would like to buy something for you guys. And at least make one new thing, hopefully. Um, luckily for us, you know, the cappuccino juice and coffee machine out there. Or bring this in a little bit of extra cash as well. You know what would be cool is actually see a customer actually sitting in the chair over there. 
Uh, Italian, Italian, and meringue. Italian. Nope. Gotta actually wrap it first there, peanut. Italian, Italian. Didn't we just do like that order a little while ago? Is that the same guy? Might be the same guy. Um, yeah, I need to, I need to make some Italian bread itself. Not, a, not the loaf, but just a regular Italian bread. Can someone come buy this gray bread so I can get it, like, off the table itself? Yeah, I'm not going to really make anything to stack on. T I know I need to make some meringue pie and some muffins. But I'm hoping um, someone comes to buy that stuff so I can get, get rid of the small trays, if that makes sense. Over here, we're doing rather good. Yeah, make some meringue pie. We are low on that, but I'll put it on the side once uh, once you get it done. I love the fact that I know I have so much time to do this. Uh, Pasky, baguette, bunglaze. Pasky, baguette, and glaze buns. Yeah, so wrapping, I know a couple of people said you should, I should wrap things up and then uh, put them on the side. But really, I don't need, you know, to me, I just like it looking better this way. Uh, to each his own, everyone can play the game the, the way they want to. But for me, wrapping them up and, and you know, they said, well, you can put them in the same spot as you have the material now. That way, you know what's what. It's just quicker to do it. But, you know, I, I got like a minute and 10 seconds to take care of orders. And uh, yeah, I don't need that much time, really. Uh, muffins. You want to make some muffins there, sir? Uh, hey, a bread brick, chocolate snack, pastry. Bread brick. Chocolate snack. And a pastry. I'm wondering if it's the way... Are two boxes going to face me and one's going to face the other way? No, nope, they're all face me. Okay, I, I haven't figured that out yet. I thought maybe it was the way... I was putting the uh, food down on the wrapping machine as the way it wraps it. But um, probably not. Let's go ahead and put the muffins over here for now. Because what I might do is take these off the shelf after the shop closes and put the full ones down and then stack everything else on top. So we are almost back up to $400. It's been a pretty darn good day, actually, because we were up to a couple hundred. I bought a whole bunch of ingredients. And we're almost back up to $400. Uh, since we're waiting, let me go back into finances quickly. Uh, $639 sold and $292 for buying material. That is not bad at all. Um, are we done with customers? I think we are done with customers for today because no one's walking outside. All right, so this is what we're going to do. Yep, we're going to go ahead and restock the shelves. Put the full ones on the bottom. Like that. Um... Uh, meringue pie. Yeah, let's go ahead and get the meringue pies kind of sorted here. And I'm actually kind of wasting time because my baker could be baking something. Let's grab that. And can I just place that on there? There we go. That's good enough for now. All right, let's come into here and see. So we got $400, which is almost enough to buy. I don't want to say everything, but we don't need to buy everything. Um... How about we do the cupcake machine and a fruit slicer? That leaves me a hundred bucks. So, all right, let's see what uh, we can make. All right, so I kind of know what we have made. Um, everything on the list here we have made. Uh, banana bread needs oven mixer and fruit slicer. Well, okay, that takes flour, oil, yeast, banana, banana bread cases. Do I have banana bread cases? Apparently we do. Okay, so where am I actually going to stock this stuff? Do I want to put it on that top shelf or do I want to start reverse reverse, uh, reverse processing here by putting this stuff over here and putting kind of like my extra flow stuff? Or, uh -huh. Yeah, he's doing it here. I'll say this is on the third shelf. 
Oh man, next day is going to be a pain in the you know what because I'm not going to know exactly where everything is. I'm going to keep going to the wrong shelf. But I'm trying to put it in the same order if that makes any sense. Alright, uh, let's go ahead and put this. Yeah, we'll put that right here. Alright, uh, so banana bread. You know what, I'm going to have him make another one. Because uh, I definitely want two stocks of everything. All right, let's grab the donuts. Donuts. And, yep. And then we can put these like that. I don't know if it's, it's not actually going to be on the tray, I don't think. Yeah, they're not actually on the tray. They're kind of floating. All right, so we got two of those. All right, um, where were we? Banana bread, chocolate snack, bread brick we can make, bun glaze, eclair, oatmeal cookies, gingerbread man, meringue pie, bowl cake, uh, bowls, cream gun, chocolate heater. Did I buy bowls? No, I did not. I think they were kind of the cheap one. I don't have the anthill machine either. Uh, donut, pie, cake, cupcake. Did I buy cupcake machine? Uh, apparently I did. See, I already forgot what I bought here. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and put this up here. So that's the second shelf. This should go over here like so. All right, meringue. Oh, uh, no, focada. This is focada. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that right. Focac. I would say for kata with a T, it's actually two, uh, a couple C's, uh, but whatever, uh, deal with it. Uh, <laughs> let's go ahead and grab this here. All right, you know what? Let's go ahead and double the cupcakes up, please. Bakery shop management 101. Yeah, let's grab the one, the full cupcakes and put the cupcakes there. Cupcakes and muffins, that's going to be kind of confusing. Alright, so we got our muffins. I think that's all I'm going to be able to make. I'm almost certain of it. Um, let's go over here and grab these. And we'll put these actually down here. That's a small tray. That is a small tray. Oh, uh, the muffins, yeah, they're not going to be good stacking on top. The frosting's going to get everywhere. Uh, meringue, yeah, so that one I put down on the tray is now hovering. You know what, let's do it like, uh... No, hang on a second. Hopefully I can grab this one next time if I remember. Uh, yeah, so double check here. Muffins, uh, sorry, cupcakes. Uh, pastry and muffins. So that's, that's everything. Um, so I think we're only down to the cake, anthill, and the bowl cake. Um, I prob I think the bowl, ca uh, bowl cake, I only need the bowl, and I think it's like $50. Um, it is $50, which leave me $50 in my bank account. And that'll leave me kind of low, but we're going to do it anyways. I just can't buy the cake anthill maker, which uh, seems kind of weird. Um, okay, so it should be just a bowl cake. So one more item to buy and one more item to make that is currently in the game and we will be a full running bakery shop. And my baker um, deserves a little extra time off even though it's midnight, but um, uh, he's not done. He's going to make some baguettes as well. But other than that, we are pretty well stocked to start another day. But he's going to make two orders of the bowl cakes and one order of uh, what these look like. Oh, these are kind of uh, looking kind of fancy. Those are kind of fancy bowl cakes. Looks like it's got a pretzel, grapes, uh, a whole bunch of stuff in there. Kind of an interesting little combo, I think. 
So while he's making that, let's come in here and check on the ingredients. How are we doing? Any? Are we low on anything? I can't really spend the money, but it'd be nice to know if I'm low. That way, first thing tomorrow is like, do I got time to sell stuff and then buy um, some ingredients? I am low on some stuff, like, uh, well, yeast. I'm going to need, you know what? They're only... That's good. $32. We're fine. Um, yeah, want to spend a little bit of cash on ingredients, but really, yeah, next day should not be a problem getting everything that, uh, this, that we can possibly have. Uh, baguette, yeah, let's go ahead and order one of those. And we will be done here for today. Left with $32 in the bank account, but the thing that's going to be is no more equipment to buy. It'll be just ingredients over and over again. And... Yeah, then the money's going to really go up. So when they add anything to the game, by then I should have the cash to go ahead and buy it. Interested to see what they're going to do with like a... That's a door to leave, but this could be like a drive through window. Imagine having to, to deal with drive through customers at the same time as customers coming up to the register. So you have like an order here and you'd have like maybe... Um, well, you could actually use a TV to have the orders on. So you have to come here and like someone in drive through comes through through this uh, window. Interesting little concept. But I think we are all set. Uh, I'm going to send the baker on home because he's got to be here in seven more hours. And we'll start the process over. we got to bring in some cash so I can buy some ingredients. And the last thing we need to buy, is that $150? I think it is. $150 to make the cake ant hill. That's all we got left to make. That's all we got left to make. And I got plenty of storage space. The good news is, like I said, we are stocked, ready to go first thing in the morning. And I'll see you in the next episode at 7 a.m. Because that's going to do it for today, guys. Hopefully you guys did enjoy the episode. I do appreciate you watching. As always, I'll catch you again right here in Bakery Shop Simulator. But until then, have a good one.